No amount of stretching is gonna help you overcome stiff shoulders and upper back if you have weak muscles and poor mechanics. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you four exercises that are designed to help you gain mobility and help you gain strength and more importantly, help you move better so that you can perform better in whatever you're doing with your body and you're confident that you'll keep yourself safe. These exercises require little to no equipment, maybe a bench or a couch and I'll show you how to scale them so that anyone can benefit from these exercises. Let's get to it. Before we get started with this first exercise, let me explain what I mean by poor shoulder mechanics. Most people aren't sure of what should happen with their spine, their ribs, right? And the shoulder blade when they're doing different motions. So in each of these exercises, I'm going to cue you as to what to do with your rib cage or your spine. They're basically the same thing and your shoulder blade. So first exercise, we're going to go hands stacked directly under the shoulders. And then we'll start on our hands and knees. So um, just a comfortable position here. Now we're going to work on the overhead position, which is this, All right? So we're going to learn not only how to move well, but also we're going to hopefully end up with a stretch if we end up doing this right. So notice when I move my arm overhead, I don't pull my shoulder back and then go, this is about as far as I can go. I'm literally squeezing uh, as hard as I can. I can't go any further. Now watch if I go through a proper pattern, protract, meaning reach the shoulder blade out as far forward and then reach my shoulder blade up toward my ear. Now all of a sudden my shoulder becomes very open and notice I'm not arching my back. I keep my rib cage in. I like to think about the sternum, pull the sternum in, and that's what helps you gain a good overhead position and allows you to potentially get a stretch. So to drill this, we'll start here and we're gonna, boom, protract the shoulder blades just like what we talked about a second ago. Now we're just gonna lift our butt up in the air. We're gonna try and keep the shoulder stacked over the hand and push into the ground as hard as you can. Notice I'm not sinking, I'm pressing and I'm pulling my rib cage in. Okay, we can drill that a few times just to get really confident with the pattern. And this might be it for you today. If that feels good, no reason to progress this. Now, if you're looking for more, we elevate the feet. So put my feet up on something. And now, same activity, but I'm able to go much higher and I can get my shoulder more open. Now, it's really important to remember to push those shoulders forward and up and pull your rib cage in. And finally, if you're still looking for more, you just keep going higher. Put the feet up on something, maybe hip height or so. And now you can really open the shoulder. You can even potentially try to look up at the sky. Keep pressing your shoulders up. And there you should get a really good stretch in the front of the shoulder. And you can give yourself good, strong shoulders, shoulder mechanics for that overhead position. If you're working on handstands, this is essential. In the first exercise, we went directly overhead. In this one, we're gonna work more in this Y position, like YMCA, right? So you're gonna need something to put your hands on that is anywhere from like knee to hip height, maybe even a little higher. Put your hands on and also potentially you wanna be able to push forward. So something solid that's not gonna slide on you. So we're gonna take our hands about double shoulder width apart, place them on the object and stand up. Now we're gonna go into a scaredy cat position like in cat cow and yoga, right? Tuck the chin and now I want you to start pushing into your object as you lower your chest towards the ground, keeping that roundness. You may notice a stretch coming on in the armpit. That's a good thing. Say hello to your pec minor. Now 
This is a three-part exercise. We're gonna purposely arch the back. This is where we have an opportunity to really go after that upper back stiffness. So I want you thinking about not only arching, but also creating length with your neck. Imagine you're reaching the top of your head towards the wall in front of you. So arch and really go after this one. Let those armpits open. And finally, we're gonna just try to round the lower back so the stretch sinks in to that upper back. Keep the neck long. Whew, that is a deep stretch. And the whole time, we're pushing with the shoulder blades, just like how we worked on that first exercise, reaching out and up. We never wanna start sinking. You'll lose the stretch in the armpit if you do that. Okay, next up we have the crab. Now, this might be an exercise you've done before, but we're gonna work on it in a very specific way that helps you gain that strength as well. So, pay attention. We're gonna put the hands behind, and I want the fingers facing away. We're gonna lift the hips off the ground, but not high yet, because we're gonna set the shoulder blades where we want them. So, in this movement, we're gonna try and push the shoulder blades down away from the ears, and then squeeze them back. Now. Here's the key. As I squeeze them back, I don't throw my chest and rib cage forward. I'm gonna try and pull the rib cage in, just like in the last one, sternum down, make my neck nice and long, no forward head posture, and then I can start to lift. And this will be a much better stretch. And now you're working on the shoulder mechanics for when your arms go behind you. To make this even more strength oriented, we can start to lean the shoulders back over the fingers. And now the whole back of the shoulder has to work to support my body weight. If I want more stretch, now I can just start to move forward, keeping my good posture, shoulder mechanics, and really get a deep, deep shoulder extension stretch. Okay, last exercise. So far, we've worked on directly overhead, directly backwards, and out at this kind of Y 45 degree angle. So now we're gonna explore everything in between here. We're gonna set up like we're gonna do a crab. We'll lift the hips, turn the fingers facing behind, but now instead we're gonna shift our weight over to one hand, push the shoulder blade down and back, and start to lift the chest, allowing everything to open here, trying to turn the chest towards the sky. But remember, we want that shoulder blade always pushing towards the ground. See the difference here? If I sink, you'll see my shoulder come up towards my ear. What we want is shoulder away from ear towards the ground. Okay, we'll hang here. If you want a little extra, you can reach in different directions. There's no right way to do this. You're just gonna play with this. Elongate the neck, just like what we worked on in that last exercise. Tuck the chin, reach the top of your head towards the wall behind you. Now, we'll obviously do that on both sides, but if you're ready for bridging, which would be the ultimate display of really good shoulder mobility, then you can connect the two positions by moving through a bridge we call this a bridge rotation. So we lift into our crab, start to turn the fingers so they face a bit more across the body, go all the way around, place that hand on the ground. Now we're in our bridge. Then we go out the other side. Now we're in that one arm crab position on the other side. That's it. For each of these exercises, you could either do sets and reps, or you could just do long holds. Regardless of what you're doing, I'd recommend just putting on a timer and going for the allotted time, anywhere from 30, 60, maybe even 90 seconds, because you'll have the capacity to really pay attention to what's happening with all your mechanics, rather than just counting reps. You could either use these exercises as a warm up for a routine that is gonna involve you using your upper body and whatever capacity, or if you wanna make some serious progress, 
do these exercises for two to three sets potentially as a standalone workout. All right, that does it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, do all the good YouTube stuff. And if you really liked the video, I'd recommend checking out the Primal Athlete. We do exercises like this for the whole body and you get individualized coaching tailored directly to your body, your needs, and you get feedback directly from Josh and I on all of your exercises. We'll see y'all in the next video, and who needs a gym?